Hi, this is Tandy Gutierrez and this is your Tip Tuesday mini vid for today. So today we are talking about probiotics again. Um, why? Because more questions came up about it. <laughs> so there is a, another Tip Tuesday mini vid about probiotics, but today we're getting a little more specific. So I am not an advocate for extra vitamins or for supplements. I think any powder pill junk typically is just a tax on your liver and is just expensive pee. And in fact, most of that has been established that you're just paying to overload your system and your system needs to be supplied with all of these wonderful things, but overloading it isn't the best way for it to process it. Um, that aside, <laughs> there's an exception to every rule, right? So the world is not black and white, it's mostly in terms of gray. So I do often recommend a probiotic supplement. Why? Because probiotics are a very particular thing to a body. You've got your own like biosphere thing happening in here. The probiotics, what is it? It's a good bacteria. You need a balance of the good and the bad bacteria in your gut. I am not a doctor, so you can go and search all kinds of things on the web now that tell you the benefit of having the good bacteria balance in your system. And a lot of it is brain-gut connection. Um, so if there's kind of mood stuff, funky moods, you know, some of this may be because your gut is off. Um, and for those of us with autoimmune disorders and like celiac and our stomach and our intestines have just taken a pounding. Um, with also with chemical meds, because I take medication every day, because I no longer have a thyroid, um, our internal balance system is a little more challenging to create the good stuff in. So a probiotic is the one thing that I really do say you should take a supplement for, because it's hard to find it in your food. Yes, you can find it in your food. Where do we typically find it? Yogurts. The yogurts that people grab are typically like just packed with sugar, so it really did you no good because you just doused it with 26 grams of sugar. Um, and the dairy could be an issue too because it's inflammatory for the system, so not the best way to create good gut flora and a good internal healthy system. Um, other ways to get great probiotics via food and natural elements, which I always prefer. Um, kombucha, which can be awesome. It can also be a little pricey. And for some sensitive bellies, a lot of it doesn't go very well and just kind of creates some gas and some other stuff that we don't want. Um, the other piece of that puzzle is fermented foods. So sauerkraut and pickles, and um, these are wonderful ways to get it. And you should be getting it that way. But again, for maybe more sensitive system like mine, that's a little challenging to do unless I'm gonna make my own um, because of the things that my body doesn't like. Um, and you're not getting like this crazy powerful punch of them. So if you're really trying to up the ante of your health system, the probiotic supplement is like a surefire straight way to do that. Like anything else, you need to pick the good ones, okay? And so everybody goes, what do you use? What do you use? Okay, I get nothing from sharing this with you. These are just the ones that I have used or my family uses um, and that I use now. So I'm sharing because I've written too many singular emails and now I can just go, please go watch the video. <laughs> okay, so the first one that I personally use is the VSL-3. I did a ton of research. So bacteria, good and bad in your gut, you're trying to balance it. You've got your own biodome thing happening in here and finding a probiotic that works with your body is a little bit like finding, you know, the love of your life, your partner. You gotta find that perfect fit. Some probiotics are just not gonna be a fit for your belly. How are you gonna know? After about three days of taking it, if you're still getting gas and bloating or you just kinda don't feel good with it, probably not a fit. Usually after three or four days, you should feel like, I just feel good, I feel kinda bolstered. Um, so you may have to try a couple to find your perfect fit. The VSL-3 is really the one that's safe and good for bellies with IBS. This was the research that I found. This was the only one that when I took it, it was like, magic, I just feel good. Um, so this is what I take. You can order it on Amazon. I have been lucky enough to find it other places. Um, I take two of those capsules every day. And then I also take this one, which is like the Jaro, one of their um, probiotics. You can, Whole Foods usually has it. Um, you can also order it on Amazon and I take one of these a day. So this combo worked for me. I'm super sensitive belly, autoimmune issues. Maybe it'll work for you too. Um, there are others. <laughs> okay. So this is the one that my kids and my hubby um, use now. And this is the one recommended by my 
practitioner that does the gemotherapies and um, homeopathic stuff. And this is the Pure Dime. Um, it wasn't a fit for my system. It's super high quality and it's a really great price point. Um, it just didn't fit for me, but for them, rocking and rolling, and they love it. And it's just a little powder scoop and you dump it in their smoothies during the day. Um, there is one more. Another one that was recommended by my practitioner, which was the Mind Links, and I used it for a while too. Um, you can order it on Amazon, and I think it's two capsules a day. Um, but like I said, you'll know your perfect fit because you just kind of feel spunky and you feel good and your gut feels nice and there's no gas and bloating after three or four days. It may take some time to you know, level those off a little bit. Um, so I went back to these two every day. I take mine at night, so in case if there is any gas or bloating or funky stuff that it's kind of cleaning up in there after a day, um, but you can take it at any point in the day. So that's my spiel on probiotics for now and the recommended brands that I use in my house or have used or I know are high quality, um, but take a little trial and error see what works for you, report back, and if you have questions, let me know. And if you have um, things that you're dying for me to do a Tip Tuesday mini vid on, just let me know. You can leave comments, posts, and send me a message, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Okay, see you next time.